joining me in the studio today is Matt White of ITC. We're going to be talking about one of the industry's favourite face mills, the M1200. Matt, welcome again. Hello, Joe. The M1200, very popular, isn't it? It is. When I started out on my Whittier journey, probably seven, eight years ago now, it was the very first cutter that I had a chance to play with. You're still at school then? It was just about, just about. So as soon as I left school. Um, and straight away, i seen it as a flagship cutter that would be there for a long time. So... Everybody uh, in the customer base will use a face mill of some sort, and everybody will have mostly 40 or 30 taper machines. I don't see so many big BT50s, but this cutter is ideal for that because it's soft cut in action. Um, and I just feel, as, as a cutter, I would always lead with this. If I went to see a new customer, I would always give them that to have a look at straight away. Yeah, and what I like about it, multiple geometries, multiple uh, insert grades, but maybe more importantly, uh, multiple pockets. So just by changing your cutter body, you completely uh, transform your machining strategy. Yes, yeah, so the, normally we'd leave with a 45 degree, your bulk standard face mill, but they also do a high feed version of this, the 15 degree version, and a 60 degree heavy rough version. Now recently I've been doing a lot of work with the high feed version because if you go to a customer and they're using high feed or they want to use high feed, it's important to ask what do they want to use high mm -hmm. feed for. If they're going to be ramping or plunging or circular interpolating out with it, that's not the cutter fall end, the high feed version of M1200. Then it would be a standard M370 or the new VXF cutter. Mm -hmm. If they're just dropping in the Z and then making linear motions to take uh, like a facing application, uh, taking material away, I would look at this as the high feed cutter for them. The, the point being that it runs exactly the same as a standard high feed, so same speeds and feeds, depth of cut you can achieve, but the insert is six edge double sided, whereas mm -hmm. the M370 is three edge double sided, the VXF is only four edges single sided, so from a cost effective way of looking at it, it's a much more cost effective insert. Plus there's grades for stainlesses, there's uh, grades for steels, aluminium. Yeah. If you use the 45 degree and you're trying to achieve a fantastic surface finish, we then have the, uh, the wiper inserts. Mm -hmm. So you can put a wiper in, it's set just proud of the, the roughing inserts and it sweeps, like a facet sweeps a, a finish onto the onto yeah, surface. Yeah, so with two holes, depending on what you want to achieve, two or three holders, you can do lots, can't you? It's important to yes. know you wouldn't use this tool for ramping and, and circular interpolation like you mentioned. No. But quite often, face milling is, is taking stock off, isn't it? It's, it's what traditionally you'd use a 45 yes. degree insert or maybe a button mill going back. Um, but like you say, with this, you're simply just changing the approach. Uh, uh, you know, yeah, changes, the, the, the insert your... doesn't change. The same inserts fit in all three different types of bodies. So I would say, as I always do, that if you've only got a, a low powered spin, say a BT30, BT40, I'd probably go 50 mil at the biggest diameter I would actually use on a high feed. But if you're using the 45, then 60 for 80 mm -hmm. mil would actually work okay on those sort of machines. So yeah, I'm, I, I love the cutter. You can tell probably I, I, I do like it and I, and I think I'll, I'll always have the love for it. One of the better sellers? Yes, I would say so, because it's my, my leading cutter I take in. So I, I like the cutter. So in terms of the, the stock availability, we're going down to some quite small diameters. So presumably it's available in more than just the shell mill. Yeah, so the shell mill would start at 40 mil. Um, it goes up to about 125. So you know, we're talking big, big shell mills. But we have it on the modular uh, shank style. We also have it in the welding style and also in the cylindrical shank style. So we should be able to uh, have a, a solution for most of the customers what they need. There we are. Th thanks for joining us today, Matt. So that's You're the welcome. M1200 Mini in this case, available from ITC in Tamworth. Thank you for watching.